Why you do that? It's hotter than Satan's taint. I have to get the AC fixed on that Honda. 2005 Honda Accord, 208,000 miles on it. So the end of last summer, my AC finally just died on me. There's no way I'm gonna get through another brutal summer without AC, so. So you guys gonna help me put some uh, ice cube juice into the AC system. Let's go figure this out. I don't know. Never charged a AC system on a car before. I've got a, got a gauge, got a dew driver. I guess I'm just gonna pull the pin and just chuck it at the car. I don't know. It's not going to turn the engine on. Turn the AC on high. Activate your circulation mode. Okay. I guess we're gonna do a pressure reading. It's idiot proof, it looks like. We're gonna figure out what we're low pressure side. Well, this will not screw up. Yeah, idiot proof. This won't, this only fit on this one right here. Oh, and further clarification, the cap has an L on it. Who's shipping this? Do a little shaky shake. I'm getting it. I don't expect this to work. I'm thinking I have AC leaks on, but I got it with leak sealer, so. Showing Phil. Let's go see if she's in a blowing cold area. Nope, doesn't feel like it. Too low again. Yeah, it's just how I do things. I just get right into a project, not quite knowing what's going on, and I just try to figure it out. I guess I'm not really good at reading directions. I just think I have a better idea. It said rotate uh, between 12 and 3. The can's getting cold now, so. I think it's actually taking the refrigerant. So the refrigerant, as, a, as it's empty in the bottle, it's a, the liquid is boiling off because it boils at a much lower temperature. So when it does that, it removes heat from the side of the can. It's freezing my hands. Now let's go see what that did. It's getting a little cooler. Drop back down, but it's coming up. Max filled right there. I want to see what happens if it cycles again. There goes the clutch. Now it's showing whoa, the AC uh, clutch is turned off. So I'm gonna just wait till it kicks back on. Cause this is, the compressor's not running at all right now. And it's, there you go. As long as it doesn't make it to the red zone, I think we're safe. Put it right in the ketchup. I don't know if this is the right way or not, but I just feel like it needs more uh, liquid in the evaporator side clutch when the compressor is calling. As long as it's uh, gas before it hits the compressor, we won't do any like serious damage. That's the point of the evaporator is to boil down the refrigerant into a gas. That reaction actually pulls the heat out of the, the cabin and transfers it to the evaporator, the compressor side, which is the condenser side. I think that's all I'm gonna give her though. Yeah, she's struggling. <laughs> well, let's see what that does. Slam-o! Ah, yeah, she's cold now. Yep, the AC's, I think it's definitely working. Nope, not breaking any laws here. We only break one law at a time. Doesn't get very good traction. And I don't think the AC's fixed, but hey, whatever. Dang. Damn it, that's disgusting. I'm trying to figure out my AC still, but uh, look at this cabin air filter. I don't think this has ever been changed. It is, <coughs> I didn't even puke. <coughs> All right, guys, so you know me, always doing things the hard way, so I'm just deciding not to do that today. I'm gonna finish this project by uh, what a f pro do <laughs> You got the AC on, right? Yeah. When the guys have proper tools, why why work harder than you need to? I can't help myself. Yeah, you know, you like to sweat. Why aren't you pouring concrete this weekend? Oh, not enough humidity. It won't set up very well. 90 degrees is tomorrow. Yeah, 90, but you know, the humidity will be down, right? Yeah. It ain't gonna be like 95%, you know? It ain't gonna be a jungle here. Yeah, I just didn't want to sweat driving home from work. Because, <laughs> you know, I work so hard. Yeah, relays are supposed to do that. Engaged. Oh, there she goes, she's working. Definitely take already way more than it took before. So you're saying you need uh, electricity yeah, to the clutch to work? power. Yeah, I think we definitely need to chop this open and see what's going on. That'd be like a two minute thing.
Yep, she's on. It's awesome. Yeah, I got a new uh, battery charger for the portal cable. The guy I worked with uh, gifted me one. I got any time you got power tools in Oh, cutting into our air a little bit. Here, we'll just take some off the top there. Crush it. <laughs> Uh, was that why, hot? why is that hot? All right, well, we're, getting, we're getting places. It's fixed now, huh? I think that resistor was flopping around in there. I did not hit that with the grinder. I was that resistor oh. me. Oh, yep. Right there next to the floor. Oh, well, there's corrosion in there, too. Yeah, that's probably what happened. I don't know. I think, yeah, it's all gone. I think it was just the resistor. I think this resistor went across these two terminals here. And she popped off. Yeah, look at that. Things don't work when they're broken. All right, driving home with my AC freshly charged. It's a little too cold in here now. The AC works great. It took, uh, so I started this project in March on my own. And yeah, since it was an intermittent fault because they real relay, I, th I thought I had it fixed, but no. And then West Complete Toilet, Show me a picture of that uh, AC recovery machine there. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna have to go visit him. And uh, go to put a charge on it, wouldn't take because the compressor clutch wasn't kicking on. The guy narrowed it down to the relay and as you see, it was beat. We got her uh, dialed in for 10 bucks and, and a pack of spokes for Wes. That's what that's what friends are for. I put about 20,000 miles a year in my car and and at least two months out of the year it's hotter than the hubs of hell in central New York. Be 100 degrees at 100% humidity. Perfect time to do concrete work, by the way. And I just don't want to be driving home in a hot ass car after working nine hours a day, falling asleep. You don't want to fall asleep on the throughway. That's a forever nap there. All right, well guys, thanks for watching my show. Um, I was running into some issues with my uh, motorbike video. One of the bikes that I have, uh, <laughs> there's not enough clearance for the engine. So I've been having issues procuring another bicycle between working and getting things done around the house and this and that. It, just, it is a priority of mine is just, it's hard to find time. Take it easy guys.